how are you doing? I'm very good, Katie. Well, you know, really nice to be here. It has never really meant more than it has right now. Yeah, I've, last time I saw you was at Stand and Calling. Quite a different festival. Still an amazing experience, but how, how does uh, how does Lake of Stars compare to anything else you've ever been to? It's, you know what? This is kind of um, this is kind of like the Secret Garden Party, but in uh, Central Africa. It's amazing. It's got a, it's got a very similar vibe. It's you know it's small, really cross cultural, massively different crowd, um, and it's by a large body of water. Obviously, you know our one in Cambridge doesn't have Bill Hartz here, but you know there are more benefits of weather here. It's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. And these these trees, they're just like they're biblical. I'm yeah. not sure what this one's called, but they're these baobab trees. Yeah. Insert cutaway of baobab tree now. <laughs> and they're amazing. They're just like, you know, it's like being in Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, when did you first find out that you were playing this year? Um, I don't remember exactly when um, I found out I was playing, but it was it was a sort of depth of winter when... Um, when uh, you know, Will approached me to do this, and uh, man, I'm so glad I said yes. Yeah. So, how, how many seconds did it take before you? Said well, yeah, I think you know the, the second the second picture that he showed me. You know, bang, you had me like you know, straight away. Excellent. So this evening set one well one thirty one thirty later on tomorrow morning. Um, have you got kind of any expectations of how the sort of party's going to go down here in Malawi? I've um, in the uh, I don't know 24 hours that I've been here, I've met enough Malawian people to know that they really really like to have a party. They really like a good time and they like their music like you know really energetic so um, I had this feeling that drum and bass would go down really well here and as soon as I mentioned it to this Malawian raster on the beach he was like drum and bass yes that's what we want you know we don't get that here and we're so really just you know we're so up for some drum and bass here so I'm gonna sort of you know do my normal thing involves drum and bass but I, it's perhaps gonna be a little bit heavier tonight excellent and have you had a chance to check out any sort of local acts um, over the last 24 hours like any festival, it's one of those ones where you're kind of, you know, you're, st you're stumbling around, like, on, and, and you're happy from beer, and, and uh, you just find these random, like, brilliant little bands or artists. Um, you know, we saw the Malawian orphanage, like, band and choir singing, and, uh, you know, checked out, like, a reggae band and, like, a Malawian band, and, uh, and you know, Tinashe played last night. All amazing. Okay, if you have one message for the people back home about why they should check out this festival, investigate it and make sure they get out here next year, what would that be? So what way would you put that? I would I would massively recommend coming to this festival. You get this sort of condensed, you, you, it's like the best thing about festivals. You know, you take the best thing about the green fields at um, Glastonbury and, um, you know, maybe, you know, the weather at best, no, actually not festival, weather's crap, isn't it? <laughs> um, you know, you just take the best bits of all these festivals and you stick it in this incredible place. And um, it's a, a, and amongst some amazing people. Um, and it's quite, among all of the normal things that you get at a festival, you get this sort of humbling experience of, uh, of meeting like these incredible people and hearing these heartbreaking stories that are happening all around you. And um, it, 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 it really sort of puts life in context. And it's um, Annie Mack, I think, who came last year. She said it's a, a soul-cleansing experience, and I'd go along with that, definitely. Excellent. Well, I hope everything goes well later. Thank you. I can't wait to get on.